All right, friends, we have a fun project. As you guys can see, Ohio finally got some major snow. And because of that, we're gonna be doing a project that I've been so excited about for this winter. We're gonna be taking this flurkin here. We're gonna be making an all-terrain flurkin. All right, so I ran down to manufacturing here and I got what is especially known as the flurkin. If you guys don't know what the flurkin is, it's basically a design that we created about a year ago. And since this came out, it has been inspiring so many people to both get in the hobby, fly FPV, and everything in between. The neat thing about the Flurk is it has four swift wings, you can carry a ton of camera equipment, lots of batteries, and it flies incredibly stable. Now there's many different versions of our Flurkins that we've made from sub 250 nano Flurkins. Oh, trees! Oh, oh. oh power lines! <laughs> <laughs> to the Millennium Flurkin, which can hit about 100 miles an hour. to our classic work in here. Oh, you're going over time. And we even made some modifications where we took it from a flying wing configuration to a twin boom. Today we're gonna to be doing just that, but we're gonna be doing pretty much the final variant, which is gonna be our boom and flurkin with an ATF capability. And when I say ATF, that means all terrain flurkin. So the goal is pretty simple today. We're gonna to take everything we learned from our twin boom flurkin. I'm gonna be turning that into a design that can be repeatable for you guys, but I'm also gonna be adding pontoons on the bottom. This is gonna hopefully at the end of the day give us the ability to laugh of snow, water, and even land. All right, so the goal for this project is pretty simple here. We want people to be able to build a flurkin just as they have in the original video. And if you guys are into a flight test, every single airplane that we design has a full video that goes along that takes you step by step from the build table all the way up to its first flight. So I got a little bit more work, but one of the coolest features about this is the back detail that you see right here with the louvers, the open span. This plane is incredibly rewarding to build. So at this point, the main body is now done. Uh, our next step here is I'm going to go ahead and cut out the kit that I designed that's going to put the twin booms on it, the tail, the rudders, and also the pontoons on the bottom. Now the cool thing about this flurkin is it can either be an all-terrain flurkin, which is going to have pontoons on the bottom, or you can put wheels on it, much like you saw with the monster flurkin that we built with the test rack. So my next step is we're going to cut out the kit, we're going to start assembling, and see how it looks. Originally I was thinking I wanted to fly it like the original Big Flurk with wheels and everything to make sure that's dialed in and perfect. I don't want to go out there with this. So we're going to go for broke and do the pontoons first. But check this out. Take out the stove real quick. Uh, yeah. yeah. Field trip. Field trip. All right. What's your uh, what's your guess? As far as light characteristics? As far as uh, taxiing. Oh, I don't think there's going to be any problem at all. Oh my gosh, guys. I hear a little bit of uh, prop hitting the, the pontoons a little bit. Oh, oh there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to like put them on permanently because yeah. I didn't want them to like, you know, if we had to make an adjustment, maybe I'd put it on a little too light. But it yeah, tracks. Working down. All right, so here's our next step. I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on properly now. Everything looks good, tracks good. We'll take it up for a flight. She ain't got no pontoons. All right, so this is exciting. Noah's behind the camera, but after we did our maiden test flight, um, he made the comment, why don't you make the pontoons removable? This cured a huge problem because I was thinking like, we have to find a way to help people either choose with the boom version or the all-terrain version and one or the other, but not both. Um, this idea turned into different class, different ways of like trying to tab and slot the pontoon on. That wasn't working. Then my other son, my youngest son, Michael, came along. He's like, well, why don't you screw it? And I'm like, well, that can't be done. He goes, yeah, just put a flap that you seal. So that's exactly what we're trying right now. And I'm so excited because it's super simple. I think it's gonna also be strong. And as the foam kind of deteriorates and gets thinner over time, you can continue to adjust it to keep it nice and tight. So I got 
the pontoon number one, and there'll be a little door like this that'll seal with a piece of tape. So we're gonna pass these through like this. And then all you guys will need to do, we'll just screw it in. Dave, you gotta feel this. Oh, that's awesome. a little door here, but just feel it. <laughs> it's crazy. And what will happen is as you you know keep landing and banging it up or you know um, you want to replace your pontoons, all you simply need to do is just either tighten it a little bit more or you can unscrew it and take it off and then you can fly it as a twin boom version, which we know we definitely love. Yeah, great um, job, buddy. Thanks, man. Thanks. You definitely gain some weight. I thought that I looked swimming. You look great. Oh. Playing to look for. Oh. It looks good. Thank you, my man. All right, so we'll turn differential on. <laughs> Cold. It's a little bit chilly. All good? All right, I want to do it. All right, a little hops even. Whoa. Tail heavy. <laughs> little bit, but not bad. <laughs> Dragging the stick. <laughs> All right, let's trim it out. Yeah, I think, I think we could use a little bit more nose weight. All right, ready for this? Yes! <laughs> All right, we'll try inverted real quick. It may also be, uh, it may not be tail heavy as much as it is, uh, I need mean, more positive instance on the, on the pontoons, but yeah. So far, so good. Should we do one more flat spin? Yeah, that was awesome. It's not a racer, but it is fun. It is super stable. All right, how's that? Right there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> white plane on the white sky, spinning like a pancake. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna bring it in for landing. Yeah, I think I'll try it just a little bit more nose weight. It'll take some of the wobble out, but it's really stable. <laughs> Dick. All right, let's let's just move this forward again. You want to fly it? No, I'm good. Yeah, I'm like. Sure you want to fly it? It don't matter, I'll fly it. You got that. <laughs> I put Expo on the rudder so it's softer. Do you think it just cup in the ground needs more positive? Yeah, because maybe. when it's in the air, it's fine. I think I got a little, little bit too much control on it. Oh, definitely too much control. Do you have Expo on in no. the ground right now? <laughs> It's cool though. It looks cool. Has good fl uh, slow flight characteristics. Mm. Oh! <laughs> it's so Sorry, good! I tip stalled it. Nope. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Bring it over here, I'll grab the camera. Yeah, I, I think it, something's kind of weird still, but I, I don't think it's anything that can't be tuned out. I agree with you. I think I have too, way too much control because all that air is going over the ailerons, and there's a ton of throw in this. Look. Oh yeah. Holy so I, I think the other one only had about that much. 
So that'll be one thing. And I think I need to change the angle of something with the pontoons because it like jumps in the air. Like when it finally breaks, it just like elevates. And then- Yeah, uh, maybe just tip the front up a little bit and that'll give you more room for the props too. Correct. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Thanks, man. Thanks. All right, back to work. All right, that was an absolute blast. As you guys can see, the all-terrain Flurkin has quickly taken shape and quickly becoming one of my favorite models. Uh, there's something really special about this plane where you can take it off of the ground in the snow, and I'm yet to be able to test it with water, but we're gonna be doing that. So make sure you hit that subscribe bell because we're not done with this design, and if everything works to plan, we're gonna have this available for you to be able to build at the end of March. And if you guys are new to flight tests and our content, you may not know that we have a web store. If you wanna get in the hobby and you wanna do it in a fun DIY way that gets you building, gets you flying, and gets you designing, our store is a place for you. Make sure you check it out because we have tons of electronics. We have new speedboat kits that get added every single month. We really want to see you enjoy this hobby. I really hope that you're liking this additional content that we're making with more of an old flight test feel. One thing that we also did in the early days of flight tests that we're bringing back and I'm excited to share with you is we have some really cool new Horizon products and also some classics that we love to fly. We're going to be incorporating that in our content as well and I hope you enjoy it as much as this design process is with our classic flight test planes. Thanks for being part of the family. We'll see you next time.